Hello, St. Patrick's family. It's so good to be with you here to celebrate the Feast of St. Joseph. And our Catholic Church has designated this the year of St. Joseph. March 19th is his feast day, and so we would like to show you one of the traditions, which is to build a St. Joseph's altar. This uh, started in Italy after a famine. People had prayed to St. Joseph for his intercession, and then they celebrate him by putting symbols of him uh, on an altar that they leave up. And so we wanted to show you how to construct your own so you could do this yourself. And we will have this one in St. Bridget's Hall so that you can come and visit it when you come to, to Mass. So we begin with the three tiers, and that shows uh, or represents the Trinity. Okay. And then, of course, you always want to put a statue of St. Joseph on top. If you don't have a fancy statue of St. Joseph, that's fine. Just borrow the one from your nativity set. And we have candles. They would be lovely to, to light them, and it also reminds us of being a light in this world. Flowers, particularly lilies, because the lily represents the purity of Mary, and Joseph is often shown holding a lily. We put fava beans on here because in the time of famine, that was something that the peasants could eat. Okay. Shaped breads and pastries, uh, crosses, crosiers, uh, crown of thorns, um, anything that has to do with shepherds or carpenters. Um, we also have some little cookies in the shapes of tools that um, Joseph would have used in his work. We have 12 whole fish and that represents the 12 apostles. Okay, Fresh fruit, which was more abundant once the famine was over and the people celebrated with the fresh fruit. A bottle of wine, which represents the wedding feast at Cana. Okay. Sawdust, which would have been something that Joseph would have had a lot of, I'm sure, in his um, uh, carpentry work. Um, my brother is a carpenter, and he sent me some shavings from his studio, and along with some little carved images. But if you don't have fancy things like that, you can get simple wooden figures at any craft store. And then you might put pictures of loved ones who've gone before us in faith to remember them at this time on your altar. And we always add a basket to put prayer intentions. Um, you can come visit this altar in St. Bridget Hall and write your own prayer intention. We'd love to pray for you and your intentions. And so we challenge you to make your own St. Joseph altar at home, and we're gonna have a little contest. Yeah, we have two categories, one for the most elegant and one for the fam most family friendly. And I'll show you that in a little bit. Um, but anyone, anyone who builds an altar and takes a picture and sends it to us is eligible to win this statue or a statue just like this of St. Joseph. So we hope you will share that your hard work and your uh, artwork with us. So you can uh, send a picture of your home altar to the parish here, either to my email, I'm Mary Long. This is Mary Tate. Mary Tate. <laughs> yeah. Yes, and, uh, or to the secretary at St. Pat's, and we'll collect those pictures. Do it by St. Patrick's Day, let's say, by March, March 17th. And then we will have a contest. Maybe Father Anthony will be our judge, our final judge. Okay. Okay. Well, thank you for sharing St. Joseph with us. Have a great day. So if you have kids at home, get them involved and let them build their own altar. If you have a blocked play set, use that. Otherwise, scraps of wood are fine. Now this St. Joseph I took from a child's nativity set. Look around your house and see what you might have received from baptism or first communion. Any little figures will be fine. A lot of the things that were in the adult's altar, you could use um, little wooden figures that I got at, at a craft store. Um, maybe your child has a workbench. You could use tools from that. Goldfish crackers you could use for the fish. Probably everyone has some of these around. Or, you prefer Swedish fish, you can use fish gummies as your fish. 
Um, look at your Easter decorations. You might have some sheep. Anything that um, your child thinks goes well with St. Joseph, dads, grandfathers, um, Easter coming up, anything, let them be creative and just see what they can do. We'd love to see their pictures as well. So there's also a prize for a family friendly looking altar. So don't be shy. Thank you.